Alright friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and look who we're going to be opening here today. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Ooze Cruising Figures and this is a really cool Target exclusive The Making of a Ninja only at Target and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six action figures and is quite a deal. We have all four turtles and we have April and Bebop. And I'm so excited to take a closer look. It looks like perhaps this would be an exclusive figure. And I remember not finding April everywhere, but because she wasn't in the first wave. So anyway, let's take a closer look. Let's dive right on in. And before we get started, let me give a special shout out to our good friend Milo. And so guys, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these incredible new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem action figures. And give us a big thumbs up and share this video with anybody who you think would like it. So guys, what do you say we get started with this incredible six pack right now? Folks, this video was brought to you by Vince. Stay tuned. <laughs> Friends, welcome back to Vincent GD's Super Channel G, and let's go ahead and get this incredible Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Ooze Cruising Figures box open. It is an exclusive from Target, the making of a ninja, and it comes with all six of these cool figures. And as we take a closer look, I want to show you. It definitely appears that these are just the exact same figures that come in the individual packages. Man, this chair is creaking. Like, come on, chair. Anyway, but um, with less accessories. Looks like it comes with their main weapons. No little mini turtle and none of the all those extra weapons in the back. But it does come with what I believe to be, I need to go check, two exclusive figures. We have this Bebop right here. It's got like ooze splat on him and then this puke girl right here. I guess she puked on him. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> we have April O'Neil right here and one of I think two variants. And as I mentioned a moment ago, she did not come out in wave one of these nine figures. So um, at the time, this was the first one I believe that dropped with her. And since then, you can get uh, another one. But Anyway, here's the packaging. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got beautiful artwork on there. Look at that. And that's super cool. Let's turn it around. And again, look at this beautiful artwork right here. I loved Donnie in this movie. Raphael, April, Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Bebop. Look at that. And so here, it says, well, I was like, is there any like QR code or anything? I guess not. Interesting, but it does say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Ooze Cruising Figures. These turtles won't be taking any orders. When evil mutants create mayhem in New York, it's up to Team Green to deliver justice. Bebop is cruising for a bruising by taking on April and the turtles. So, I was actually shocked when they kind of you know, change the story a little bit about the other mutants and how it actually played out. If you haven't seen the movie, obviously, you'll find out as soon as you saw it, but I assumed they'd all be villains, and that might not be the case. So, let's see how we can get this open without destroying the whole package. 
and maybe we'll get it open on this side and there we go let's cut this little piece of tape okay there's more than one there we go is it clip on the top nope there we go There we go. Yep, and it is correct. They all have their one, well, their main weapons with them. And look how great this looks. Wow. Super awesome. I love how it has that in the back. And here we are. Give me a second, because I'd like to take a quick photo. Look at this. I can get this too, or let me at least hold it long enough to to be able to press the photo button. Good enough, right? Perfect, because I can't reach it. <laughs> cool. And this is how it looks in the back. All right, cool. So, who do we want to get out first? We go left to right. We we'll start with Donnie. Alright, let's start with Donnie. Why not? And are we going to cut it or are we just going to loosen it from here? I guess we'll loosen it. And... So, Donnie, I'm sure you'll agree, was absolutely hilarious in the movie. Um, it sounded like he was really young. He didn't necessarily sound like a teenager. <laughs> but, um... Uh, I guess the actor that played him is little what matters. Oops, forgive me. Definitely didn't mean to throw it there. And let's get his bow staff out of there as well. Oop. There we are. Very cool. Okay. Wow, there's even like little ankle joints. Okay, so we're gonna set this over here. Let's get closer. Let's take a look at Donnie. The glasses, do they come off? They do. Well, maybe they're not supposed to because it looks like there might be glue there. But anyway, we'll see. Where's Donnie? There we are. And maybe they're not supposed to come off. But it definitely looks like the same Donnie. Okay. Let's take him out of this pose. I have him attached right here. This little clear rubber band that's crisscrossed. Come on, little buddy. There we go. And that should now come. Wow, that's really wrapped around there. I'm attached right here to his. Little fanny pack going on. Okay, so let's see. Donnie's head movement, neck articulation. So it tilts about that much up and down. So not a huge range of motion, but his head does turn all the way around. Look at his head sculpt in the paint. We have these glasses here, which again, not necessarily sure if they're supposed to come off. I yanked them off and they were pretty easy to get out. But it does have a little hole right here to just pop that back in. And so we can always glue that back. Here we are. The arms move beyond a 90 degree angle. Look at that. That's pretty good. And go all the way around except for where it hits right here on the shell. Like that. Okay. As far as the elbows, we do have pretty good uh, movement there. It is nowhere, well, it is actually getting pretty close to 90 degree angle, actually. And then we can turn the wrists. They do not go back and forth, but they do turn. I'm like, it looks like it's sticking out a lot. And this arm does about the same. And this hand is, appeared to be a little more closed than this other one, but I guess not. I get this off. Of. There we go. Slide that off. We have our little fanny pack action going here. And the phone does not come out. It's one piece. 
I'm like, is it attached here? No, it is not. I thought maybe there'd be a little peg that goes in there. Oh, it does. It has this little ridge that goes right there. So that's supposed to be there. And then we have this bow staff, look at that, which can go right in here. Let's see as far as the legs. The legs go, they actually go pretty far forward and it's because this is softer plastic, which is cool because even though it moves forward, it gives you better leg articulation. Okay, the legs do turn and they have that hip joint, so that's cool. I'm glad they have that. Then the knees kind of do the same thing as the elbows. They have a single joint, they come into almost 90 degree angle. And then we have an ankle joint, which is also new. That's cool. Um, it only turns to the side, but that's better than nothing. And I wonder what, if we can get like, a pretty dynamic pose here. And so I definitely want to commend um, Playmates Toys for doing a great job here. How dynamic can we get this pose? Ugh. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. That was better a second ago. <laughs> well, the leg doesn't go extremely far out because of that there. Otherwise, we might be able to push it slightly further out, which would be very helpful. So, a little disappointed I can't bring the leg further out, but still pretty cool. And then, I guess we'd be able to put him in a on an action hero stand. Let's see what it looked like he was facing this way. Put this here. Straighten his glasses a bit. Well, if we can get him to lean forward enough, which it's not happening yet, because his his foot is kind of lifted. Oof! If I could just get him to stay there, that would be perfect. Let's turn that. Ooh. Nope. Give me a second, let me see if I can get this guy to stand. Let's see. All right, well, this wasn't a very dynamic pose, but it was interesting because he didn't have a great center of gravity, so it's a little leaning forward, and that's better than him falling backwards, but it's like, I couldn't really get him to have a super dynamic pose without him falling, and then it's like, the way his feet, because you can't angle them down, the way they were, I had to bend the legs a little bit. And it wasn't quite the pose I was hoping for. But we'll start there and we'll set him aside over here. We'll actually do this side first. Okay, cool. So let's do next. And well, let's do Raphael. Let's turn him around right here. And let's see. Raphael. Okay. Come on, Raph. cut that but I also don't want to bend it hard either so we will cut it's a little bent in, in a direction but hey so here's our Raphael let's remove his weapons for a second it looks like we have more than one color of green here <laughs> 
Well, head sculpt is cool. About the same articulation as Donnie here. Donatello, and well, his head looks like it moves forward and back a little more. And does a great job there. Like, his head sculpt, that looks great. He's got a little bit of cracked shell going on right there. I'm definitely digging that we can have these here, but does that impact his ability to move his arms? Maybe. Or how you can pose them. Still looks cool. Look at that. Okay. Now as far as the arms, then move this out to here. We can definitely move it higher than 90 degree angle up. Moves around. Now this joints are feel a lot tighter than Donnie's. And we do have the joint right here at the elbow that brings the arm into about a 90 degree angle. And turn the wrist pretty well. It does hit here, so just be aware of that. Because that one's sticking out further than this one. So, different shell. And slightly more detail than Donnie's, if you'll see that. And oh, here's the legs. We have that little rotation for the ankles there. Look at his toenails. <laughs> we have one. Ooh. Enjoy the knee. You're gonna to want to support that knee and started to come forward or back, I should say. So not quite a 90 degree angle, but still pretty well. This soft plastic also, so we can move the legs pretty far forward. Unfortunately, oh wow, this one has a little more room to uh, move them out, but it only comes up that high. So if you want to do a ninja kick, well, looks like this is as high as it's gonna go because it does hit right there, just like on Donnie's. But you can't bring that higher because that would have looked cool. And, well, all in all, really cool. So, let's see his weapons. We got this side right here. Cool little detail. Soft plastic, so. And, ooh, I'm like missing some paint here on the hand. Let's see. Let's have them one up, one down, kind of like the 2012 series. Let's see how that looks. Let's see if we can give him a more dynamic pose. Nope, I don't want his head tilted off this side. Let's see if we can straighten this out. That's cool. And yeah, you definitely took the standing better. And that's pretty cool. Look at that. All right, let's put him next to Donnie over here. And hopefully he stays standing. Because he's rocking back. He's got a slightly different green than Donnie. Look at that. Well, that's cool. All right, great. Let's move on next. Who do you want to do? Leo? Hmm, I say we do Leo next. And all right. So, ooh, there's a lot more little twisty turnies here. There we go. And, ooh, Leo's swords. Wonder if we can get these out without bending everything and messing everything all up. But perhaps not. Oh, okay, he definitely has little tags on his ankles. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Okay, hopefully that helps. There. Oh my gosh. Perfect. 
let's see. Okay, we got him out. Can we get the swords out? His katana blades. All right, cool. And then next will be Mikey, I guess. And then we can do April and Bebop. But, wow, look how great this looks. I'm loving the blue. I love how it just pops. And, well, I guess we can put his katana blades here. Let's see, are we supposed to have them go in and down like that? I'm assuming so, but it could be off. Okay, so we're gonna have it look like this, so I'm not sticking out the other way for the moment. I'm definitely loving the sculpt. Look at uh, the L and his little throwing stars he has there. As far as his head, tilts, and doesn't have full articulation that Raps does, but that looks cool. Has, well, his arms aren't going as high as Donnie's and Raph's, barely above 90 degree angle. We do have a soft shell for the front, soft plastic for shell I mean, and arm still a little bit of ways before we get 90 degree angle, but moves and turns there. We have the wrist that also turns, so that's cool. And looks like we are also a little bit of paint, uh, paint leading over. We're getting chipped off. And his legs come this far forward and bend. There's still a little bit more to be able to get where we want. Wow, but it does bend backwards the other way. And then we have right here where we can move it at the ankles. So, let's see. It, can he reach back? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I guess we can pull this one out and have him already starting to to get his swords. Look at that. That would be cool if it didn't just look like he was holding them, but if you, you could actually tell that he was like pulling them out. But I guess let's do that. Here we go. And I'm definitely digging how that looks. Let's see if we can get his legs to line up. And him, like, see how there's too much over here, so it starts falling over. So we lean him forward a little bit. But if we can't get his leg underneath him, then it kind of defeats the purpose. So, for a center of gravity, we'd have to lean him forward like this, because if we have him straight up like this, you can see it's already pulling him back. And I don't think we have a little stand thing here. Oh, we might. We have one of them. Where's the other ones? Lost them. Oh, well. Let's see if we can get him to... Just hold that pose first, but it's like, why has he got a tiptoe? And I didn't want him just to have his legs straight like that, but I guess we'll take what we can get. Just doesn't look the same while he's like that. He's not like. But, and then this is too high. Hmm. Give me a second, let me see. All right, well this is the best I could do. And he's really just being supported by one foot leaning forward. It still looks way better. And then the other one has a toe on the ground. So, I'm definitely, definitely loving the way that looks. And let's, I guess, move Donnie for a second. Let's move Rap over here. Uh oh, now I got problems having Raph stand. And here we are. And that looks pretty great. And look at that. Alright, so we got three figures left. Let's get. Let's get Mikey. And 
Of course. Was there ever any doubt? Probably not. Let's get Mikey out of here. Let's see if we can get his weapon. There we go. His ankles don't seem to be tied down. Like we had with Leo. There we go. Slide his nunchucks out. Perfect. Alright, great. Let's take a look at our Mikey. So, Mikey looks awesome. I love his smile. Love his big eyes and his big head. And looks like we have more than one color green here. You notice that? Okay. The arms do move up pretty well. Look at that. And go around. Except for, of course, where it hits right here. And the elbow comes in. Really more like to barely a 45 degree angle. Doesn't come anywhere near 90 degree angle. Okay. Our M right here. Our head goes more back than the, than Leo's and, and Donnie's. We can tilt the head and we can turn all the way around. As far as the legs, they come this far forward. And, well, looks like the knees will start pushing backwards also, so come that far. They do turn. And we have a knee joint. Wow, that brings us to a 90 degree angle. Great. We have a little ankle joint here. This turns a little bit. And this figure's got pretty good mobility. Articulation, that is. And, well, let's see his weapons. Look at that. So I guess the same thing twice. And, I'm like, we could, I guess, have them in here. If they don't mind being smashed close together. Well, they don't love it. It's kind of like pushing its way out, but looks like it can work. doesn't love being in there. So I'm like, okay, I guess we could skip one and technically get there, but they'd be overlapping and that could work, I guess, but... Alright, so let's start like this. Ooh, his hand's a little too loose for that, so let's kind of push that in a bit. attention to what I'm doing. And well, it's not gonna be tight in his hand, unfortunately. That'll still work. And I wish I could I wish that pose could be held. But it's not gonna be held by his his feet very well. Ooh! <laughs> Proved myself wrong. That's really cool. That I love. Way to go, Mikey! Okay, let's move this to the side over here. And I got lucky. And hopefully it doesn't fall over. Look at that! Oh man, that looks great. Oh man, outstanding. 
Okay, awesome. Let's move on to our last two action figures. Maybe we'll take them off together. Okay, so we're gonna have Bebop and we're gonna have Puke Girl, April O'Neil. Definitely doesn't look like like we have a ton of accessories for April. She definitely has her little satchel. Ooh, I have to cut the little tags here and here for her ankles. Oh man. Excellent knocked down Mikey. Be careful with these scissors because these are have sharp tips. There we go. What about for Bebop here? Definitely secured in there. I didn't notice he had little. Ugh. Okay. Let's get that out first. Let's see if we can start. Perfect. All right. Let's set that aside. And Mikey, can I count on you to? S no! I'm knocking everybody over. I count on you to stand on your own. No, I cannot. Okay. So, let's spread this over. There we go. Ready to go, Mikey? Okay, great. Let's look at April here. Doesn't look like she has any crazy accessories. If the glasses come off, I ain't pulling them off. And here's her. Head articulation. It's pretty good head sculpt, actually. That so tilts. We have our little bag right here. Her classic yellow jacket. The arms move up. Well, they're a little tight to move up, but they move up that much. They move around. Oh, this just happened right now. So I guess if I push that one hard. Ends up taking that paint off. I'm gonna have to fix that because I caused that. Anyway, we have a little bit of movement right here for the elbow. It does have a joint, but it is restricted by the sleeve. Look at that. And it does turn on both of them. Look at that, so it can tilt out. We do not have a waist um, joint. Joint at the waist, and legs come this far forward. She has cool sneakers that she can you can turn right there at the at the um, ankle. And well, too bad there's not a cutaway here so that we can bring the legs further in because that's not too far in. But otherwise, cool details on the jacket. It even has that there. And well, we'll just stand her up next to them and let her be her. This leg is kind of going out for some reason here. So knees are kind of like knocking in, and the legs are kind of going out the bottom. And I wonder if that's just from settling in the box. It's going to make it hard for us to get her to stand. Because look, the foot's not even making contact. We don't want her to have such an awkward pose. Hmm. Well, she does not have the greatest joints here on the leg. 
So we're just gonna have her kind of just chilling here, almost looking like she's hitchhiking. So, the April figure could have been just a smidge better. But nonetheless, we have April. Okay. And last but not least, we have our exclusive little Bebop figure that we have here, which is, this one was what got me really excited, besides the fact that all these come in one box. And well, look at that. Right off the, right off the bat, we have great um, ability to move the legs. Oh man, there's even a solid single joint right there. And look at his little legs, that looks pretty good. They do turn. We cannot move anything at the ankle, but it doesn't look like we really need to. Can't move anything at the waist. We do have these really cool shell shoulder pads as a throwback to the original. 1980s cartoon, as far as the head. Too bad you can't move it up and down. You can really only turn it like this. So, at least it's something. But look at this head sculpt. This head sculpt is beautiful. Look at the paint, look at the hair, and... I'm loving the sculpt. I'm loving the, the green that splattered on him. That wow. And, well, his arms come up to almost a 90 degree angle. These don't turn there like the other ones do, but we can move the wrist. And, well, it's got a pretty smooth joint. You can move it up to really not even a 90 degree angle. But you can rotate it pretty well. This is a great looking figure. Look at his weapon here. Kind of a callback to, again, the 1980s cartoon. And let's see how hard it'll be to make him stand, seeing as how he's, uh, this shape and clearly, like, top heavy. So, lean him forward a little bit. Okay, well, that works. And that didn't take very long. No! I pushed it a little bit harder and it just popped right out. Okay. That absolutely looks great. Let's see if we can push that out. There we go. Just a little bit. And there we go. Push his legs out just a bit. Let's see if we can still have him stand. Oof. Well, guess we're not going to be able to do it dynamically. Okay. That looks good. So let's push him here. Let's move her here. Let's move Mikey here. Leo. Raph and Donnie. And look how amazing that looks. Wow, that would be a great scene just in itself. Okay, look at that. So, this pose looks great for Mikey where he's like lunging forward. This right here for Leo. Where he's about to attack, that looks great. Raph's got like a defensive stance, and then just a power stance right there of defense also for Donnie. We have Pute Girl about to, I don't know, hitchhike. <laughs> and we have Bebop who looks great with his little spotter right there. So, I'm excited. This looks pretty outstanding, and I'm gonna take a couple more pictures, but I wanna thank you for hanging out with us here, guys. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you're notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. Let us know what you think of these incredible new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures, especially this six-pack that is a Target exclusive. Give us a big thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments, and we'd love to uh, hear from you and see you on our next video. Check back on our YouTube channel frequently because we're going to do the, our entire set of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures. We'll be seeing you soon. Oh, and I guess as a preview, because you already know that we're gonna do all of the individual figures, which 
would be these, and we have all of them. But we also have the variants, the making of a ninja, the one these ones that glow in the dark. And you know what? I wonder if so putting it there, putting it there, and seeing if maybe, just maybe, we'd be able to. Let me see. Hold on. Thinking maybe I could change the settings and turn it off and well see if it would glow and it does look at that so all right guys thank you for hanging out with us and we will be looking at all of these action figures really soon so stay tuned and let me know which ones you want to see next thanks for hanging out with us guys here I'm Vincent G's super channel G peace